Meet marine biologist Doris Slezak. She spent years traveling in the Antarctic, carrying out research into gases that affect the climate. Today, she's sharing her experiences with a class of Swiss nine-year-olds. This is the ship we set out in, a big ship especially built for research work. Her work brought her in close contact with penguins, seals and whales. Well, I travelled in total three times to the Antarctic. Um, I was doing um, research in the, uh, in, in the Ross Sea. For a few times we could step off the ship and stay on the ice and um, that was actually the moments when you come very close to animals, like they, it's just a few metres that they, 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 ha they still keep as a distance. Her courses at the Animal Park in Bern start with a closer examination of these animals and their habits. This is an orca whale. They come up for air in leads, passages of open water in the ice created by the research boat. Look how the boat is moving off. And there are the orcas playing around in the water. We counted seven altogether. Look at this little Adeli penguin. He's so cheeky and he gets a clip around the ear from the big one. But he still comes back for more. He stands there and tries to assert himself. Doris also uses seals and penguins at the animal park to help get her message across. I visit them, we talk about them. What are the differences between those warm water adapted animals compared to the cold water adapted? Like what are the protections against the cold? Her aim is to show how cold water adapted animals will be affected by the melting ice cap. She demonstrates the effect of melting ice with a classroom experiment. I'm trying to demonstrate children what is the difference if sea ice melts, which is really swimming on the ocean, uh, underwater, and um, if land ice, like the, the Antarctic ice, if those melt. Yeah. The, the more the ice melts, yeah, the less area we have, which reflects a lot of this incoming solar radiation, which helps to cool actually the planet. Yeah. The melting of once permanent ice is already affecting wildlife. Polar bears, whales, walruses and seals are changing their feeding and migration patterns. The ice is melting earlier and earlier because the planet is warming up. So it's getting too thin for the polar bears. Can they find enough seals to eat in this case? No. Seals, for instance, are many seal species. Um, uh, give birth to their, to their lungs on the ice and then the sea ice has to be far, uh, strong enough for, a time, for the time that the seals, the young seals, cannot swim. Even young people can help to reduce the effects of global warming and help to save the habitat of the penguins and seals just by flicking a switch. Turning off the light when you leave the room, do not overheat your rooms. Um, um, if, if possible, use the bike, not the car or the, the public transportation at least. Yeah. It's a message that even children can understand. From now on, when I go to bed, I won't leave my light on anymore. If they get used to the idea that we have to be aware about our natural resources, if we teach them early enough to be aware about that, yeah, it's for them it's going to be easier to live in a, matter, in a matter that will help us to fight global warming trends.